Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the Indestructible Potatoes Potato Lounge number 42. Now, we got some E3 news. Let me go ahead and jump right into it. We got some gaming news. We got some movie news. We got God knows whatever else news you want and listen to. Here we go. Fortnite release date is a co-op... I'm sorry. Fortnite. A co-op survival game basically State of Decay plus Minecraft in a way. Uh, early access July 25th for Xbox One, PC, and PS4. The standard edition is at $40. The deluxe edition at $60. A super edition at $90. And a limited edition at $150. Now here's the thing. The super and limited edition at $90 and $150. If you buy those, you do get a code to give to one of your friends. So basically you are buying a game and getting a free one too. And then this, if you buy the 150, you get two codes. Kind of neat. I'm very excited for it because it actually looks very interesting. I recommend you guys take a look at it. Agents of Mayhem will feature Johnny Gats from Saints Row as a pre-order bonus. A release date of August 15th on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. The Binding of Isaac creators announce a new game. The ending is nigh for PC and Switch. A release date of July 12th. Possibly more consoles, maybe. Like Xbox One and maybe PS4. Black Panther, officially part of the Avengers Infinity Wars. Mass Effect Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda's development uh, almost included procedurally gener generated worlds like No Man's Sky, but they scrapped the idea because it was too difficult and they thought it would take away from the experience. Suicide Squad 2 will begin shooting sometime in 2018. Actress Hannah John... Hannah John Kamen from Game of Thrones joins cast for Ant-Man and the Wasp. No news as to what her role is in those films yet. Hellboy Rise of the Blood Queen expected to film, to begin filming in September. It's going to be an R-rated reboot. David Harbour will be Hellboy and will be directed by Neil Marshall. It will be using, it will have the use of practical effects. Just so you guys know, that means that there will not, lots of, uh, not a lot of CGI will be used, more of things on screen, similar to how Guillermo del Toro set up with his. A uh, prime example would be uh, the use of the market in Hellboy 2, how those were not CG generated. Most of those were costumes uh, and actual people inside of those moving around the map or moving around the area, which is very neat, and I'm actually very excited. Sony Pictures announced that it will start to release clean versions of movies on select digital marketplaces like iTunes, Vudu, and Fandango. This means that when you go to buy a film, you will have two options now. You will have the generic rating, which will, if you have PG-13 or R, will actually include the cussing, the sex, the gore, everything else that you guys want. A clean version will be released that will exclude those, that will bleep out cuss words, that will maybe skip a, maybe put blurs over like a titty or something along those lines. Uh, Gay Pier Pinkerton, a writer at Valve, announced that he has left a, the fourth Valve writer to leave in two years. Which, take it or leave it, that might be good news. It could be bad. Uh, David Harbour was too fat to play the blob in X-Men's Origins Wolverine. Uh, the director didn't give, uh, didn't give the role to him over his concerns for his health. As Harbour stated in an interview, he quote-unquote said he lifted his shirt and squeezed his stomach saying, I've got your blob right here after he went through his uh, interview process for the role. Cuphead release date was first announced back in 2014, but we have a release date for the Xbox One and PC now. September 29, 2017. Star Wars Episode Nine director Colin Trevorrow says slash promises to handle Leia Organa slash Carrie Fisher's passing away with love and respect. Now, we know that in Episode Eight she has a huge role from what we have been told. Now, from what Trevor Trevorrow says, he will handle it with respect. Either he will in some way try and tie in her passing or he will try and tie in that she is doing something else out of the Republic. Who knows? We will have to find out for Episode 9 and any other news that comes out in the next few years. According to uh, Bill Skarsgård, uh, he made children on the set of It cry. Uh, it opens in theaters September 8th, 2017, uh, but he did apologize, th apologize to the kids, just so you know. Because it was hor you know how It looks, he's horrifying as fuck. New Smite gameplay, Trials of King Hercules. Let's players battle their way through dungeons, defeating bosses and gathering loot. It's a three-player mode that includes quests, mobs, bosses, and loot drops. Now to the one thing that everybody is excited for who was an Xbox player. The Xbox One S, or the Scorpio that I prefer. It has 6 teraflops GPU, 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, 326 gigabytes of memory bandwidth, 8 million plus pixels, HDR wide color gamut, premium Dolby Atmos sound that's used in a movie, just so you guys know, 
4K UHD Blu-ray playback, and a liquid-cooled vapor chamber. The cost will be at $499.99, launched November 7th, 2017. I'm very excited. Super Lucky Tail is coming to Xbox One November 7th. It is a platformer-type game. I don't know anything else but that. Black Desert is coming to Xbox One in early 2018. It's an MMORPG. It might eventually make its way to other consoles, but it's currently available on the PC. So if you are interested in seeing what this Black Desert game is, look it up on PC. Look up some gameplay. You might like it. Tacoma will hit PC and Xbox One on August 2nd. Tacoma, I don't remember what that one is. I'm sorry. State of Decay 2 will release sometime in the spring of 2018 on Windows 10 and Xbox One. It was first announced back in June of 2016. I am super excited for that. Deep Rock Gal Galactica is a first-person shooter coming to Xbox One. It is a cooperative FPS mining game. Um, if you notice it, it looks like a... Uh, I would say like a No Man's Sky-esque thing mixed with Minecraft, but you're a dwarf instead. You know, whatever. Now here's one thing that everybody's excited for. Player Unknown Battlegrounds is coming to Xbox late 2017. The developer is working on a new PvP zombie mode. No release date yet. It is a separate mode from the generic one. And it could eventually come to PS4, so do not rule that out. If you are listening to this right now, a PS4 player, do not rule it out that it, will, it might eventually come out to you. It will not come out to you this year, most likely. It will come out to you probably in the beginning of 2018. Maybe mid, maybe spring, I would assume. Um, it has been released for around three months now and has sold over 4 million copies. Metro Exodus has been announced, but there is no release date yet. Forza Motorsport 7 has a release date of October 3rd for Xbox One and PC. There are more than 700 cars, 30 racing environments, and more than 200 ribbons. I don't know what 200 ribbons are, but it sounds great. Original Xbox Duke controller is returning to the Xbox One after 16 years. 16 years! There has apparently been a company that has been making these, but not through Xbox themselves. They've just been making their own and selling them through third party. Black Strangers is a, I'm sorry, Blade Strangers is a 2D fighting game. It was released on the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC in 2017. Don't know when yet. Wolfenstein 2, The Colossus, released yet of October 27, 2017. I think it could come out next year. I don't know. BJ Blazkowicz is returning for his role as, if you guys have never played this, he quote-unquote dies at the end of the first one in a uh, very heroic manner. Evil Within 2 release date, October 13th on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. It is a sequel. It's not a prequel. I think there is DLC that involves a prequel to it all. I don't know. Take a look. Dishonored Death of the Outsider release date, December, September 15th for, P for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Beth Bethesda re revealed Skyrim for Nintendo Switch will, will include items from Legend of Zelda. It will include the Master Sword, the Highland Shield, and the Champion's Tunic. There's no release date yet. Doom FVR, which stands for Virtual Fucking Reality, and Fallout 4. Doom is not a full game. It is more of just a half game where you can jump around and shit. But Fallout 4 is a full game. It is coming out in October. That is for Fallout 4. I don't know about Doom yet. Original Xbox games will start to become backwards compatible for Xbox One. Games like Brute Force, Time Splitters 2, Voodoo Vent, etc. There are uh, no prices been shared for the digital versions yet, but disc versions will work, which is great for me because I own about, about 12 OG Xbox games. Uh, Mario plus Rabbids King Kingdom Battles release date announced for August 29th for Nintendo Switch. It has an XCOM gameplay. Uh, gameplay like. It's not exactly like XCOM. Uh, Age of Empires is making a return to Xbox One, remastered ver uh, version of the 20-year-old PC game. I released it sometime this year of 2017. And finally, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen expansion announced for PC, PS4, Xbox One. Release date, August 29th, 2017. So if you guys liked XCOM 2, I definitely recommend taking a look at this. But there are some, there are some news for you guys right there. We got a lot of games gone through. I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope you guys can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you guys could share... You know, the more views we get, the more we can do for you guys, and the more we can enjoy ourselves, and we can give you guys some more things to enjoy yourselves. But thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Potato Lounge. Stay informed.